So, you know, yes, you should be applying the same target curve across the board. You should be base managing them. What I would do is if your tops, for instance, more than likely your ceiling speakers don't have a lot of bass output. That's pretty typical of ceiling speakers. And you should be applying a, a high pass filter to them. But what I would do is use a higher high pass filter on those speakers than on the others. It doesn't matter what the system automatically detects or puts in or anything like that. And this is true of all correction systems, not just direct. What I would do is I would actually apply something like 100 or even 150 hertz to the ceiling speakers. But 150 hertz is okay. You should be able to get away with that, especially because it's just for the tops. There isn't as much content going to your tops as is going to your LCRs, for instance. So I don't think you're going to find that to be problematic, but you're going to protect them against overloading, which you will hear, and that will be problematic. I, I will also say on a separate issue, a lot of people have decided that tops don't get a lot of full range content. And as a result, they're buying things like I've seen Amazon basics brand in ceiling speakers. So one of the issues when you run into these target curve questions relates to the fact that you need to make sure those ceiling speakers, those tops actually have the performance they need. A lot of people are under specking those and shouldn't be. I'm not saying you have to go and buy, you know, if you've got $3,000 per channel LCR, I'm not saying you need a $3,000 equivalent ceiling speaker, but it needs to be a pretty capable speaker. It shouldn't be a piece of junk. And that is true with movies. And I can give you, as I have in the past, I can give you plenty of examples of specific movies where the stuff being sent to those tops is significant and it should be obvious why you would want a good speaker there. I mean, when at least my first major experience with Atmos was Gravity. And so that was an early Atmos recording. And look at what was being sent to the tops. It was George Clooney's voice. So obviously you need a good speaker for that. I mean, you, you want it to have natural neutral high quality sound to accurately reproduce his voice you don't want a piece of junk up there it's not being used for just atmospherics but music is also changing things and atmos music which is becoming more and more uh, popular is sending basically full range instruments all the way up there i mean there's like everything you could imagine anything that would go to the lcrs is now free to go anywhere else and is that's what we're seeing with this music so, but more importantly any of the discrete stuff deserves a good speaker up there. And I think people placing really cheap speakers on the tops are doing their system a disservice.